Okay, so I uh, got a little suggestions from a few people. Went ahead and put up three of my grid ties. As you can see, one of them is really moving, which is a 440 watt panels in the front. This this one is actually five Harbor Freight 15 waters, which its voltage is actually sitting at 14. There's no batteries hooked to this. That's just straight voltage off the roof, straight into the, the inverter right here. And then uh, this inverter, obviously, like I said, it's 440 watt panels, the higher quality ones. Its voltage is actually 15.6 with no battery banks yet. Uh, the kilowatt showing we're doing 152. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the Harbor Freight. Like I said, it's five of the six Harbor Freights I got. I got one charging the battery bank up in the attic, which is another 16 batteries up there. So let's turn this guy off. So that guy's off. Without the Harbor Freight panels, I'm doing 117. So I got about 11 watts per panel or so I'm losing on the other ones. So we're going to go ahead and turn this guy back on real quick. See the voltage is coming up over here. And now it's putting a load on it. 152 watts. Um, the thing is, I've got these tied in. I ordered uh, some rafter blades for my turbines that I have not installed yet. The best place to get them is MissouriWindAndSolar.com. Uh, so make sure you check them out. They're very great people to talk to down there. It's not about the money to them. It's about getting you quality product that's going to work at the right price. So, let's see here. We're at 15.6. So I still had the batteries. Um, I went ahead and racked up some more on the bottom and framed this thing out because, I mean, there's 16 sitting on the top alone, and, you know, that's about 1,600 pounds. And then I put uh, six more on the bottom of the C&Ds that I had. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I got these off, so still got a bunch more here i got to put somewhere. Uh, so we're getting there. I just thought I'd share an update with y'all on everything. I did go ahead and put a breaker box here. I don't know the recommendations for it because these are standard household breakers, but it seems to be working fine on the 20 amp right here controlling this grid tie. But like I said, the grid tie is only operating the Harbor Freight, so it's not doing more than, uh, since they're lost with them panels, maybe 45 watts. Technically, it should be doing 75, but they're Harbor Freight panels. I mean, they're cheap, so you get what you get with them. And I went ahead and got this off eBay, this meter right here for $11. It needs a 5-watt power supply to run this meter. So I went ahead and just took an old cord right here off of a cell phone charger. I think it was an LG charger. It has 5 volts out. Ran it in there. Then uh, the Harbor Freight panels, the grounds are up, coming up here. The positive is coming up into here. And then each leg goes to the, goes to the inverter according to which panels it is. The only one I do not have a breaker on is the ones off my fronts for now. It's just because I didn't want to combine. I wanted to be able to check the differences between the Harbor Freight ones and, and the other ones, which I think I'm just going to put the other ones on the leg over here, share a common ground with them, or even make a new ground strap over here. This box I got from Lowe's for uh, 46 bucks came with the four breakers in it, so it seems to be working great. Um, you could try some other breaker boxes, and if anybody has any different suggestions, uh, I don't know the ratings of DC for these 20 amp breakers. If anybody knows, just let me know. But as soon as I have more information, like when I do everything else, uh, I'll put a, another video up for y'all to look at when I get the turbines up and everything. But, you know, for what's out there, you know, five of the Harbor Freight panels and 440 watts uh, panels off eBay, not too bad. I do have uh, about 10 more, well, eight or 10 more of these uh, inverters. I have a couple of the. GT series ones, and then I have these green ones. But the green ones working great. I've only blew up one, and that was by running it at 24 volts off straight off batteries for four hours. And when I went to hook up the second time to the second set of batteries, that's when I had a problem. So I'm going to try doing it again, but running it through breakers this time instead of hooking just positive and negative to it. I think it's the fact that it gets so much amperage so quick is why I blew the MOSFETs up in it. But like I said, they're working good for cheap and expensive inverters, working out great. When I run the dryer, it supplements the, the wattage tremendously. So, yeah. All right, well, that's about it for now.